uh, just I uh, got second today at the London Peg Regionals uh, playing Dark Lords, and this is just going to be my quick deck list so people we'll can see what I was playing. So, three X Shell, um, three Superbia, uh, two Zerados, two Nassin, one Morning Star, one Tesla Copa, two Am Amdusk, uh, two Christia, two Gamisil, two Maxis. The uh, reason for I play two Amdusk is just if you're Put your opponent under a Christia lock, you can just trade the Christia away with one tribute with the Am Dusk and kind of just like combo off one in the game that turn. So that's like, I just felt he's a little bit better playing on that too. Uh, for spells, had one Rekiki, one Soul Charge, one Paw Desires. Uh, reason for one, uh, I found if I was playing two, I would often see, if I saw one, I'll have to see the second one. And the second one was always dead. So you just, you have so much draw power in the deck. Uh, that just seeing one is good enough to get your advantage with. Uh, so I want to play one. Uh, one upstart. Uh, two twin twisters. Uh, three Draden. Three Allure of Darkness. Uh, three Banishment of the Dark Lords. And then three Dark Lord Contact. Uh, the deck is just like one giant draw engine. So you don't have to play like maximum copies of everything. Because you're still going to see like your one copies and stuff pretty often. Uh, and then for traps, I played one enchantment and one uh, rebellion. Uh, so that was four cards main deck. Uh, you see everything pretty often just because you draw like the deck super fast. So um, sideboard is pretty easy. You can put it four cards in, and you're bound to see like one of them. Uh, for my extra deck, uh, I played ABC, a Spirit Dragon, totally awesome, and Dante. Uh, these are all just. Um, Ghost Cherry or the Reaper targets uh, for just matchups, so you never make these cards. Uh, then cards, uh, I have play one rank sandwich, big guy kind of comes up. Never, never made him today. I did make this today. Uh, uh, this guy won me a couple of games today. It's pretty good. You can like shuffle away ABC monsters, so they can't make ABC Buster. Uh, I actually won a game with this guy, and I have the rest of the galaxies, so. Uh, Cypher into Full Honor, pop some face up card, and then it doesn't matter, Dragon. Um, won me a game but, today. But it does matter. Uh, Hope Harminger is really good against spell card decks. Uh, this guy's nice for clearing monsters. Uh, like, you could, uh, I made, I made this guy once to set up a Christia play, so he kind of like helps you get fairies to the graveyard. Um, Lancelot won me a couple games today. I did win one game with the Super Dreadnought Real Cannon. It was pretty funny. Uh, don't get it off that often, but it's still fun to get it off. Um, and then play one Dora. Uh, never made it today, but Dora plus Christia is pretty good. Uh, so that's 15 cards for the extra deck. Um, sideboard doesn't really matter. Kind of just depends on your region. Uh, I'll just quickly go through my sideboard, though. So I had three Magical Springs for Pendulum decks. Uh, one MST, just because back row destruction is sometimes good. One Mind Crush. Um, two Ghost Reapers. Three Danko Sekas to stop the Pale Zoics. Uh, do some and downs for ABCs. And then probably the most clutch um, card on my sideboard that like won me so many games today was Cyblocker. Uh, Dark Lords, you like barely ever normal summon. And if you are normal summon, it's either your uh, Morning Star or your normal summon, or tribute summon into a Christia. So being able to like shut down your opponent's face, if they go like activate anti spell fragrance or like a Vanny's Emptiness, you can just summon Cyblocker, call that card, and it shuts it down. And then you can just can play through it. Or you just call a key card in their, like, their strategy and just locks down their deck. So just like sign your opponent for a turn is all you need to set up Dark Lords and win. So yeah, this deck, uh, I got second place today. Um, I had the Winnipeg Regionals, so it's pretty good. Uh, it's going to die, though, as soon as like the uh, Zodiacs come out. So I don't, I don't see this deck being viable too much longer. But if you guys want to like, give it a try, it's pretty cool. Uh, I enjoy it. So yeah, that's everything. Action North.